Hi, I'm Mira from Fluid Mira, and this is Boki, my assistant for the day. Um, I'm going to take you through a full body flow mat for beginners. So if you are new to Pilates, this is the perfect class for you. So let's go ahead and start the class. So we're going to start with some breathing exercises. So let's go sit down in a diamond leg position. Or you can also cross your legs if that's feel more comfortable for you. Or perhaps sit on a chair for the breathing exercise. So find our most upright spinal sitting position. So sitting up tall, basically. Hands on the rib cage. Inhaling through the nose. And we exhale out through the mouth. As we inhale, feeling the rib cage expanding into the hands. Exhale, deflating away from your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you like to observe which side is a little sticky today, meaning that you find it more challenging to expand the ribcage sideways. Exhale. Inhale. Taking care that you don't lift the shoulders up as you breathe in, but really try to focus into that ribcage girdle. Exhale. Let's give it two more to go. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. All right, now let's have, let's have your hands on the shoulders like so. Now, as you inhale, I'd like you to shift your ribs to your left, kind of pushing out towards the side. Exhale, gliding to the other side as you inhale. Exhale, you can also keep the hands placed in the rib cage, so you have a little tactile cue around the rib cage. Trying to help that assist the rib cage to glide sideways. In, so I leave it up to you, hands here or around the rib cage. Inhale, slide, exhale, center, and glide, slide. The pelvis is still grounding to the floor. Stay nice and tall. Two more sets. Last set, last one, and let it go. Okay, let's go to our backs. Turn yourself to the side, and then roll to the back. Have yourself in a supine position. Your knees are bent, your feet are on the ground, parallel position, about a fist distant between each heel. The chest is nice and open. The head is lengthening away. Now the placement of your pelvis, just place it where you feel most comfortable. All right? So you're not forcefully pushing it up and pressing your lower back down or arching your back the other way. So find a range in between that. You do really need to feel comfortable with the pelvis. Opening across the front of your chest. Now we're going to add on some deep abdominal engagement with the breathing that we just did before. As we inhale through the nose, again, focusing on expanding the ribcage out to the side, and you may find that it's a slight expansion, a natural expansion of the abdominals. Now as you exhale, I like you to intentionally draw in the abdominal cavity in without disturbing too much of the pelvis placement or the lower back placement. Just draw in, then the air will come out. Exhale through the mouth. We inhale, ribcage expanding. Exhale, contract, use your abdominal muscle like you're wearing a corset and the air expel out from the mouth. Again, inhale. Two more times. Shh. 
Again, leave the pelvis alone. Try not to rock the pelvis. Leave the lumbar spine alone. Try not to compress the lumbar spine and rock it as well. One more time. Okay, now here let's move on to some pelvic rocks. This is where you are going to start moving the pelvis joint. So we exhale, we're going to recruit the abdominal muscle, then we're going to take it further that you lengthen the lumbar spine to the floor and your tush, your bottom will lift off the floor. Then you will lose that arch in the lower back and we lengthen back down to your starting pelvis position. We exhale, Abdominal, drawing into the spine and the lower spine melting to the floor. Your bottom is floating. Now, check for me. Grab your bottom. Make sure that they're not over recruiting. They are engaged just enough to help your back, to help the lower back imprint it to the floor. And release. Now, let go of the arms. Exhale. So mostly you're using the abdominal to imprint the lower back and release. Two more times, exhale. It should feel nice here, feeling that lower back stretching out. Last one, exhale. Okay, let's take it further to the pelvic curl. We start with the rock and then keep the abdominal in to the spine. Use the hamstring, the muscle behind your thigh, and roll the spine up bone by bone to a bridging position. Place your arms on top of the thigh so you can really push that pelvis up, pressing against your arms. Open, or not open, really, so arms down. Inner thighs, staying in that parallel position. Exhale, roll down. Using the abdominal, really try to think about stretching each vertebra down to the floor and release back to neutral. Let's do two more times. Exhale, in with the abdominal, up with the hamstring, all the way. Finish up with the glute muscles, inner thighs, active. Exhale, lengthening down. Use the abs to really stretch and open the back down to the floor. Release. Again, do your best. Try not to miss any joint in your spinal column. As you roll up and down, roll it up. In breath. Exhale. Roll down, stretch away. Elongate the neck away from the lower half of the spine and back to the starting pelvis position. All right, now we're going to recruit that deep abdominal muscle. It's called the transverse abdominus here. As we breathe out, hug the whole waistline in, stabilize the pelvis. Take the leg closer to me up in a tabletop position where the knee is right above the center of your hip and the shin is parallel with the ground. Hopefully mine is about 90 degree around the knee joint. Now we lower from the hip joint, keep the knee constant. Exhale, lift from the hip joint. Inhale, exhale. You can place your hands in front of the pelvis if you wish to have to assist you or give you a little tactile cue. Inhale, exhale, or arms by the side. In breath, exhale. Pelvis is stable, not rocking, away. Two more. Exhale, last one. And stay up, press the palms of your hands against the thighs. Push down and stop it with your thighs. As you breathe out, let's do that action. Feel the obliques on that working side, engaging. Inhale, release. One more time. Exhale. And release. Arms down by the side. Lower the foot. 
and we'll switch over with the other leg. Again, breathe that, stabilize the pelvis, wrap that TVA muscle, then we peel that leg up to the tabletop. We lower down from the hip joint, exhale, keeping the angle of the knee constant, exhale, you can place your hands in front of the pelvis too if you wish, for a little tactile cue so you know that you're not rocking the pelvis, away from the floor and into the floor. Two more times. Exhale. Move with intention here. Exhale, we stay. Hands against the thigh. We push down, stop it with the thighs. And we breathe out, compress, compress, compress. Inhale, release. Two more times. Exhale, we breathe out, compress, compress, Compress and release. One more. Exhale. Compress, compress, compress and release. And let's lower the foot down. All right, now we're going to take it further into more challenging movement. So we'll take the first leg up to the tabletop. Really recruit that deep TVA connection as you breathe out. That switch. And switch. Again, maintain the placement of the pelvis. Working hard around your center. And two more times. Last set. Now bring both legs to the tabletop position. Palms against the thigh. Now I like to again press down with the hands and then Break it, pull a break with the thighs. And as you breathe out, feeling the deep transverse abdominus muscle engaging, squeezing tight, and let it go. So inhale, two more times. Exhale, press up, push down at the same time, long neck, and release. Last one, exhale, pull in, pull in, pull in, and release. Well done, let's lower one foot down, second leg down, Take your arms up to the sky. Turn the palms towards your knee. Here, we're going to inhale. Let's take the arms overhead. Now, I'd like you to think about your rib cage, the lower rib cage, lengthening in opposite direction. So we're not readjusting the placement of the rib cage as you take the arms overhead. Stay in that neutral. Exhale. Let's take it down to the pelvis side. Inhale, overhead, without lifting the rib cage. So your upper abdominal quadrants are working hard here. Exhale, down towards the pelvis side. Inhale, two more times. Lengthening out. Exhale. So we are working the concept of keeping a neutral spine, a neutral rib cage position as we take your arms overhead. Now place the arms up again to the sky. Turn the palms facing each other here. We inhale as we open the arms out to a T position. Allow the arms not to drop down to the floor, but have them floating slightly off the floor. We exhale, recruit the upper abdominal. Take the arms up to the sky. Inhale, we open. Exhale. Feel a sense of heaviness in the arms as the, as the arms are floating off the floor. Exhale. Create space between the shoulder and the head. Two more. Inhale. Last one. In breath. And open the arms out and let's place them down to the ground. Now bring the legs together, squeeze them tight. Spine twist supine. Rotation comes from the waistline over to me. As we inhale, we rotate the waist, bringing the legs together as one unit. Exhale, return to the middle. Inhale, imagine look as though you only have one leg. As you rotate, Exhale, 
control the rotation that you don't actually drop the leg down to the floor. It's not a stretch. It's about working the oblique muscle together on both sides as you twist, center. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale. Last one towards you. Inhale. Anchor the shoulders. All right, let's take the legs up to the tabletop position. One leg up and second leg up, joining, squeezing the inner thighs. And let's repeat that movement again. Inhale to me. Shoulders are down on the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Control the twist. Do not let gravity take the weight of your legs down to the floor. In breath. Exhale. One more each side. In breath. Exhale. Last one. In breath. Brilliant. We lower one foot down, second leg down, and glide your hands interlacing the fingers. Place the hands underneath the base of your head. All right, elbows are off the floor slightly. Moving on to a more challenging abdominal movement here or exercise called the chest lift. We exhale, we deflate the belly in, allow the lower back to melt on the floor as we lift up. Reach the arms, place on the back of your thigh, lift up a little higher off the floor perhaps. Now hold that new height, take the arms behind your head and lengthen back down. Three more. Exhale, sink the belly into the floor. Deflate this. Arms forward as you inhale. Lift up higher. Hold that new height. Can you take the arms back without dropping and coming down? Two more. Exhale, lifting, lifting, lifting. Inhale, arms behind the thigh. Then use your arm, use this bicep, use this tricep, pull up. Hold that new height, arms back behind your head. And coming down. Last one. In breath, come up, up, up. Now hold here. I like you to hold that height. Stretch your arms forward over your thigh. Let's rotate towards me from the waistline. Inhale, do not drop. Exhale, let's stay high. Exhale, reach out. Exhale, reach forward, center. Exhale, reach out. I've got one very sleepy dog there. Exhale, in breath. Two more sets. In breath. In breath. Last set. Last one. Come back to center, hold there, grab the thigh, lift up, a ah, little higher, 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 hold. Hands behind the head, hard work, and come on down, well done, awesome. Now, move your feet further away, so the knees are still bent, squeeze the thighs together. Arms overhead here. We're going to make an attempt, or we're going to do some modified roll up here. Inhaling, the arms float, the head lift, the chest lift, grab the back of your thighs, sink that belly to the floor, sink the lower back, and pull yourself up over, over, over into what we call the C curve here. So my spine is in flexion, a rounded position, but my back muscle is still active that I'm not slouching down, okay? Then here, we're going to roll back, back, back. At a certain point, you need to let go of the arms and the arms go overhead. Two more times. Inhale, lift high, grab the thigh. Exhale, you can use your arms to help yourself up. And up and over. In breath, find length without flattening the back. Exhale, roll away, roll away, roll away, roll away. Then arms overhead. Last one here. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Up over. 
Excellent. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back, roll back, roll back to the arms where they're straightened. Then you got to let go of the arms. Hold. Okay, now let's do one more to go up. I did say there was the last one. I lied. Arms forward. Exhale, come up and over, over, over. Okay, lift the spine tall. Okay, arms are forward. And see if we can keep the whole spine nice and long. Your gaze is forward. Then we're going to take it further here. So we're going to do it without the support of the arms. We're gonna roll back here. So start with the round back position. And then we're gonna roll back to where there is no turning back. Then you're gonna put a break on it. Then we're gonna come back forward. And we're gonna stick up the spine into the C curve. Active back, more active abdominals. Roll back. So find it where you feel, okay, this is challenging. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall. I'm going to fall. And then you're going to pull this up, up again. And lift the spine up. And exhale. So I don't know how far you can go. You just have to listen to your body and observe where there is that no turning point position. Then come back up again. And then lift. Hopefully as we do this progressively, then you can actually take your journey a little bit closer to the floor. Inner thighs are working here, and pull back up, lifting. Last one, C curve. Roll back, roll back somewhere till you feel that's the most challenging point. Then we wanna bounce it up again. Lifting through the spine, and arms down. Straighten the legs. Half your feet slightly wider than your pelvis. Moving to our spine stretch. Sorting out my garmin. Let's take the arms forward here. Now, most importantly here is to find that long spine position. If it's available to you, straighten the legs. If it's not, go ahead and slightly bend the knees. This is your priority. This is your second. So adjust the placement according to your body today. So in breath, exhale, we're going to roll down and we're gonna hinge forward to the end. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, come back up. I'm going to straighten my legs here and my feet are still dorsiflex here. So they are absolutely active. Exhale, roll down and tip forward at the end. Exhale, roll up. Two more times. Exhale, roll down. And tip forward at the end. In breath. Exhale, roll up. Last one. So articulating down. Vertebra, vertebra. Down, 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 and forward. And roll it up. Nice and tall. And release. Bend the knees. Have your hands behind you for a modified back support. Feet are parallel, chest is open, back is nice and long, elongated away from the pelvis. Exhale, press the feet down, press the hands, lift the pelvis to a table-like position. Gaze is up to the ceiling, not forward. Folding through the hip, opening the chest. If the fingertip paints, um, if this hands placement is too tricky for you, you can also have your hands, fingers, Hands, fingers facing to the side. All right, let's go three more times. Exhale, lift. In breath, hinge. Again, exhale, strong back. Inhale. And strong hip, pushing up from the bottom, opening up and make sure that you don't hyperextend the elbows. So slightly bend in the elbows if you have a tendency to hyperextend like I do. Last one and come back. Well done, and release. Right, go ahead and face me. Onto your forearm. Bottom is bent, top leg is straight. This is crucial that you don't actually slouch down on the shoulder. I like the shoulder to be right above the elbow. 
I like this armpit girdle to be nice and active, pulling up and the bottom waist also pulling up. Imagine you have a little band that is wrapping around the bottom waist. I want you to really pull that band up, right? Supporting that waistline. Top hand can be here. Now, lifting the leg up without slouching. So strong in the spine, dorsiflex the foot, and let's go for the forward kick or side kick. Reach back. Exhale. Present yourself. Open chest. Long neck. Exhale. Stable pelvis. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Three more. Inhale, reach. Two more. Inhale, reach. Back. Last one. Inhale, reach. Back. Bring it back to the side, down, folding the knee, help yourself up to a mermaid position. Underneath arm comes up, side bend for a quick stretch. And we switch. Okay, let's go the other way. Forearm, bend the knee, top leg straight. Do not slash on the shoulder, strong arm. Strong armpit girdle, strong waistline, lifting up, present yourself and lift the leg. Reach long, reach out, and we go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep that deep abdominal nice and on, and inhale, exhale, in breath. Exhale, inhale, do not slouch, inhale, two more, inhale, reach, last one, inhale, reach, reach, side, down, folding the knee, lifting up, mermaid position, underneath arm, rise up, and quick side stretch, brilliant, and release. Let's go to our front here. Bring your arm in this position. Rolling to the front, gliding the elbows down to the side of your rib cage. Feet are down on the floor. Your legs uh, can only go as wide as your pelvis, not any wider. So stay parallel here, active forearm, active hamstring. Glide the sitting bone down towards the feet lift this lower abdominal off the floor now here as we inhale we're going to glide the shoulder blades down we're going to try to lift the upper back up into an extension gentle with the forearm i'm almost not pushing myself up but i'm using my back muscle to lift my trunk and down inhale glide the shoulder blades reach the crown of the head away my neck is still long, my gaze is still towards the floor. I'm not breaking that neck alignment in front of me like so. And come on down. Inhale, reaching long, lifting up. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Let's hold this, take the arms off, stretch it to the side, palms facing your thighs, and let's go down. Again, inhale, we lift. Exhale, allow your breath to guide you into movement. Two more times. Last one here. Well done. Forearm back on the floor. Press down. Pull the belly away. Round the back. I want to push off the floor. Bam. Bottom down to your heels. Arms reaching out to your rest position here. We inhale. Exhale. In breath. As you exhale, slowly roll yourself up. 
to sit a position. All right, let's go into a quadruped, mod modified quadruped position. Align to hands and the shoulder, but the knee is not directly underneath the pelvis, it's slightly forward. So the knees are between your hands and your pelvis. Here, opening across the front of the chest, so power through your arms here. Inhale, as you exhale, I want you to pull that deep abdominal muscle, your TBA muscle, like a corset. And then take your spine into a flexion, a round back, using the abdominals, lengthening long, bring the upper back up to extension, exhale, deep curl, inhale, arch up, without breaking the neck alignment, so keep the neck long, two more times, exhale, and lengthen through the spine, Extend the upper back. Last one, exhale. And lengthen the spine. Extend the upper back. And release. And sit the pelvis back down again. Stretch your arms forward for another rest position. Inhale, expand the back of your rib cage. Exhale. Feeling the abdominal lifting up from your thighs. One more inhale. For, excuse me, feeling the back of the ribcage expanding. Exhale. Inhale. Next exhalation, I want you to roll the spine up. Up, 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 and upright. Let's stay here for a moment. Spine is long, shoulders nice and wide, head is floating. Just taking a moment to observe your body at the end of the class here. You now close your eyes. How are you feeling? Let's breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and just listen to the rhythm of your breath. Inhale. Have a moment to think about how your body's feeling now. Do you feel a lot more lengthened or not? Do you feel a little bit more grounded? Just acknowledge it. Respect your body. Appreciate the work that you just did before. Appreciate the journey that you're taking. To create a much stronger, you know, inner power, inner strength, a more connected mind and body. Let's do one more breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. And slowly open your eyes. Excellent. You are done for the day. Let me know how you go with the class. Write a comment below. And I really hope to see you on a mat, another class. I wish you a lovely day. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.